Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, so welcome back to another video on this series. So this video is about inheritance. So let me bear bad news first that inheritance is not available in VBI, but you have other option so you can use. So let me explain what inheritance first. So inheritance means that you are inheriting some properties and method function implementation from a base class. So basically they, this is a parent-child relationship and this child class or this derived class is using default implementation or field from parent class. Like in this example, although this is in Java, so this is a bicycle class and this is a mountain bike class now both has this gear property and speed property and you can see this also has the gear property and speed property and it's getting that property by using this keyword extend bicycle that is not available i'm just trying to explain in java okay like i'm trying to explain what's the inf inheritance is but this is not available in vvm now this mountain bike has one more property that is seat height that is not available in this one so that's why we are creating this base class or parent class p and function signature and implementation and in this mountain bike we are just adding the extra property or function that is not available in this base class okay so when we are saying that extend bicycle it's inheriting these two properties from this base class or bicycle class so that is inheritance so it just get that uh, property from the base class also let's say in this section you can see this public string to string right so this is a method signature now in this mountain bike we also have that public string to string so basically this is to string if we don't add this implementation it will get from the parent class or base class but in this class we can override that property that okay this will be a little bit different like you can see there's no sorry number of gears are gear and miss speed of bicycle is speed so in this one we have one more property that is seat height so it's saying that super dot to string that means this is referencing to the parent class to a string plus seat height is seat height so it's adding that extra information in this two string so this is how we are overriding the method implementation let's say we want to have different implementation and in that case we can just override that uh, but all of these are not available in fivia but we are going to use composition instead of this inheritance okay so inheritance is like uh, is a relationship like for our second example that uh, we are using sep class so we can say that okay rectangle is a shape okay and circle is a shape and show one and we do have this composition so composition has a relationship so like in this example you can see this car has a engine but car is a vehicle so this has a relationship means this composition part and when there is a is a relationship that means inheritance okay so now can go into this example instead of just some blank lecture so let's say i do have one more class that is called address okay so address can have like street number postcode district that's a country nothing more we can have these properties so we can just generate getter and setter from this one encapsulate failed select all wrap fields in type so we do have this getter and setter right now in this account class from our first example so this has this account holder names as a string 
So, what we can do we can have one more property that is this address right. So, like it's saying that okay this account holder has an address. So, that is a composition. So, how do we get this composition? We just declare a field of that specific type like private account holder address as address. So, let me generate getter and setter and then so now you can see that in this particular class we do have all these public property and public method available in this account class so let's say i can just say okay send notice I can just print debug dot print send notice to this dot you know current account holder address dot street number this dot address holder dot postcode dot as you can see we already have all the property and if we have any specific method we will get that also if it's a public okay so this dot address dot country i'm just printing the message nothing else okay so let's just send notice we can call this from notice create a new address number let's say this is 8 postcode let's say 6321 this say country that is Bangladesh. Now I need to set this address to this account holder. So account holder address is current address. Now this will give this print. Okay. Now let's say I don't want to see this part. Let me run it. So you can see the send notice to eight six three two one run say Bangladesh. So basically, I'm just printing the message. You can have different implementation details, uh, and you can use those property or method in different way for different class. You know, it, it depends on your use case. Anyway, this is just an example. So now you can see that we already have all the property from this address class in this account class without adding this property again. So this is how this composition works. So it's just saying that okay, this account class is a composed of this address class, this account holder name plus this current balance. So we get all the property and public method from this address class available in this account class. So this is how this composition works so we just need have a property in our base class of that subclass type and then we can get all the property and method from that derived class or subclass into the parent class so this is not a parent child relationship but it's more like of that the parent object is creating with the child's objects or child object plus some other data so this is how we get this composition and it's quite easy and it's extensible okay and so we don't have the inheritance in vba but we can bypass that using this composition thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video on this series have a good day